chefs, you have arrived at the chopping block. I'm your host and chopped enthusiast, Samantha Senevaratna. I roll it out and just cut circles out of the oval. I'm feeling that you're in trouble. Uh-oh. And I'm here to make you unchoppable. You've been chopped. By correcting common mistakes in chopped history. Let's find out what today's lesson is, shall we? This pizza, it's burnt on the outside. It's completely raw on the underside. It's gooey. It's not going to give you that consistent bite that you want. It's probably cooked somewhere in the middle, but that's not going to get you a win on chop. <laughs> Let's see where this mess is from. I preach all the time about the basics, and one of the most basic things is to check the oven temperature, and I did not. And I'm going to take my last tart out of the oven at the last possible second. This tart is unacceptable. It's raw on one side and burnt on the other side. And I, I can't get around that. I can tell you that having a three-year-old at home makes every meal feel like a chopped countdown. When it comes to baking, undercooked means gooey, and gooey means messy, and messy is never what I want to put in front of my little guy. The word I think of when I see these mistakes being made time and time again is attentiveness. That goes for steak, pizza, but also for your baked goods. Funny enough, it's the same with the judges. Have fans been noticing these mistakes aren't so rare? Good to see I'm not the only one. I'm going to show you how to bake the perfect puff pastry in that tight 30-minute time window and give you all the visual cues you need for success. I look in the oven, I see the puff pastry isn't cooking. So I'm panicked right now. I am concerned about Megan with that puff pastry. That's not going to cook. If I had my heart set on puff pastry, I would go deep fryer at yep. this point. Is Megan taking those out undercooked? And they look a little bit pale. Puff pastry is great because it goes with so many different flavors. But if you don't bake it properly, your whole dish is going to be ruined. So getting that perfect flaky texture along with the right balance of flavors is essential for a winning dish. So let's see the ingredients we're working with. We have some puff pastry, cream cheese, perfect little Persian cucumbers, and some smoked salmon. So now I see all my ingredients. It's time to get started baking our puff pastry, and I'm gonna think about what other ingredients I can add to elevate my dish. We're making a smoked salmon and herb puff pastry tart. So we have our piece of puff pastry that's been thawed. It usually comes frozen from the store, and you just want to let it thaw overnight in the fridge before you use it. We're going to roll this out into a 10 by 12 inch rectangle. OK, I think we're there. So now we're going to trim off the edges just to make it a nice, neat square, because remember, presentation matters using a pastry wheel. And now we're going to make a about a 3 quarter of an inch border. We're using a paring knife to cut through, but not cutting all the way through the dough. And then we'll use a fork to dock the center. And what that's going to do is release some of the steam. So when the pastry bakes, the center will be a little bit flatter than the edges, and we'll know exactly where to put our toppings on. So now we're going to transfer this to a parchment-lined rim baking sheet. I like to fold it in half. It makes it really easy to transfer carefully. And she goes into a 425-degree oven for about 18 minutes until she's puffed and golden. Looks perfect. I see chop contestants jack up the heat all the time because they're worried about serving raw food. That's just going to give you burnt parts and raw parts at the same time. I wound up turning the oven up to 500 degrees. So my tart shells are now raw and burnt at the same time. Check out the underside. It's nice and brown. If it were underbaked, this would be sort of moist and wet and white. I can also just pick it up really easily, and that means it's really well baked. So we're going to put it on this tray to cool completely, and I'm going to get together my topping ingredients. First thing that goes in our bowl is one block of cream cheese. This is at room temperature. And then I have some full fat Greek yogurt, a little bit of lemon juice that adds a lot of brightness. I'm going to season it with some salt and pepper. We're going to blend this up. Looks pretty good. So here I have some capers. They've been rinsed and chopped. These are really salty, 
They're pungent and they're wonderful. They're gonna like brighten up the flavor of this cream cheese mixture. Then I have some lemon zest. That'll go in there. And then of course we have to add some fresh herbs. So this is just a little bit of chopped dill and some chopped chives. You could swap out those herbs if you have something else on hand that you prefer. Basically, you wanna just make sure you're getting all the different elements in this dish. So we have sweet and salty, flaky pastry. We have smooth, creamy filling. You really wanna make sure your flavor is balanced and has a lot going on. Ingredients like this are what make your dish come alive and that's gonna get you that chopped win. So I have some smoked salmon and those Persian cucumbers sliced up nice. And of course, some more chives and some more dill. So these little lines sort of serve as a nice little border. Make sure your puff pastry is completely cool before you assemble your tart. If it's warm, it's gonna steam out under all that heavy topping and just get really soggy and wet. And you wanna maintain that beautiful crunch. So I would just do this right before you serve it. Let's see if I can make some pretty swoops because presentation matters. And now we have some smoked salmon. I'm gonna sort of layer this and make it nice. It's kind of fun, like arts and crafts. Now we're gonna finish it off with some chives and some more dill. It's a classic combination. I'm gonna finish this off with a little more pepper. <laughs> and voila, she's ready to get portioned up for the judges. Looks so good. For those reasons, we have to chop you. Thank, Thank you, you so chef. much. My, my pleasure. pleasure, my absolute yeah. pleasure. Hold up, judges. This puff pastry tart is unchoppable. You get all the beautiful flavors in every bite, and it looks fantastic. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Thanks for watching, and remember, don't get chopped.